So I'm going to walk you through how to butterfly chicken legs so you can either smoke them on the Traeger pellet grill or whatever pellet grill you have or so you can make butterflied chicken legs on the grill. So I'm gonna show you these two ways. They're both really tasty and I think it's worth taste testing for yourself. But the first thing to do is cut down the line of the bone on the chicken leg and then cut on either side to flatten it out. You wanna squish it. But you, when you're making these slices, it's very important not to cut all the way through the meat because that'll completely cut them off the bone. So you're still gonna eat them on the bone and it's really fun to serve them this way. This makes a really good like Traeger game day meal or a grill recipe for game days because they're really easy to eat, kind of like a chicken wing. Um, and you get so much more flavor because you can season the outside and the what's essentially the inside of the chicken is just way more coverage. So you'll find both of these recipes at Sip Bite Go. But the first thing you can do is smoke them, which is gonna take about an hour and a half to smoke butterflied chicken legs. Or you could grill them, which is actually much faster. It only takes about 15 minutes to grill these. And what I like to do for either method is to grill or smoke the butterfly chicken wings for a little while and then halfway through you're going to flip them and add on some barbecue sauce. So this is only at like the five to seven minute mark when you're grilling the butterfly chicken legs. But if you're smoking them, you're not gonna do this until about 45 minutes or an hour into them. So. Again, slow method is using the smoker, faster method is using the grill. Both are super tasty, but for each of them, you're going to know that they're officially done when you take the temperature of the chicken legs and they're completely cooked. So we usually take these off around 165 up to 175, just depending on how quickly they smoked or grilled. They're so good. I also have some really delicious smoked chicken wings recipes at Sip Bite Go and um, smoked chicken thighs and there are just so many good recipes there for you to try as well but this is definitely one to keep in your rotation. I will just leave you with this delicious footage of us enjoying these butterflied chicken legs. If you make them, let me know. Let me know what flavor combos you used. I use a lot of just really good barbecue dry rub seasoning when they first go on and then I'll just use whatever barbecue sauce we have in rotation in our fridge to finish them off. I do find that the skin is a little bit crispier on the grilled ones and adding the barbecue sauce kind of reduces some of that. Um, they come out super flavorful but they might not be as super crispy because you're adding the liquid on top. But the smoky ones have so much dimension because the smoky flavor. I like to use like a hickory or mesquite if I'm looking to really like pow in the smoky flavor. But if you wanna use something a little bit lighter and sweeter, pecan or apple or um, even like some of the turkey, turkey signature blend smokes like really taste so good with any poultry including chicken. So these are the beautiful ones that were smoked and like I said, you can get this recipe and many other ways to cook chicken on the grill or in the smoker at Sip Bite Go. Well, until next time, I, have, I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers!